Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 very common mistakes that a lot of us do on our iPhone on a daily basis. Now, of course, we have our iPhones on our hands every day, using them every day, and of course, there will be mistakes made, but there are things that you need to stop doing on your iPhone. So here is a list of 10 mistakes that you shouldn't do on your iPhone in 2021. All right, the first of them and really important is giving websites access to your camera, your location and your microphone. And you might do that by accident and not even know that you have done that. What you need to do is go to your settings and go to Safari. If you scroll all the way down here, you will find three different sections, camera, microphone and location. Now, if you go to camera here, and have this at allow, then all the websites will have access to your camera. Now, what you should do is, of course, choose deny or choose ask, and then you can configure that based on which website you're actually visiting. So if a website that you trust asks you to use your camera, you can allow that and that will be only for that website. But right here, we'll have the configuration setting it at allow will be a very, very big mistake. You will have the same here for the microphone and for your location. So everything that you do here will be done for all the websites. You can see location access on all websites. If you tap on allow, every website that you visit will have your location. So make sure you don't do that. Another very common mistake that a lot of people do on the ride phone, and I do it all the time, every day, it's just a habit, and of course, I know it is wrong, but I still do it, and that is closing apps from the background. That is a very, very big mistake. So closing apps from the background will actually consume more battery on your iPhone. This has also been confirmed by Apple. Don't close apps from the background. Now, iOS will manage your apps. You leave the apps in the background there on the app switcher. They will be there and ready to load. So anytime you need the app, you tap on it and the app is right there. It is already loaded, but it is suspended right there on the app switcher. If you close the app, then every time you need to use it, iOS will have to actually reload that app from the beginning. That way it consumes more battery. So what I suggest you do, of course, apps that you use all the time, like social media, iMessage, the phone app, everything like that, you leave them open in the background. But if you have apps that you use very rarely, then go ahead and close them. Very important for your device is a feature called Find My. You probably know about it, have heard about it. It is really important. Now, if you go to your Apple ID at the top of the settings app and go to Find My, you go to Find My iPhone and here you will have three different options. Make sure you always have all of these three enabled. Now, of course, Find My will locate your iPhone on a map and then lower here, you have Find My Net Network. Now, if you enable Find My Network, it will basically let you look your iPhone even when it is offline. And then you have Send Last Location. When your iPhone is like on very low battery, it will automatically send the last location of your device to Apple. So if you have ever lost an iPhone, you know, it's very bad. So make sure you always have all of these enabled so that you can find your iPhone even if it's lost. Another thing that's really important for your security is having an emergency contact. And you can set that up by going to settings. Not setting this up is very bad and of course a very big mistake. You never know when you need it. So go to settings, go to emergency and SOS and tap on set up emergency contact in health. So go ahead and tap here. It will take you here to your like medical card and from here you can add an emergency contact. Now all you have to do is just tap this little plus button right there. It will take you to your contacts from where you can choose whichever contact you want and have that as your emergency contact. Now every time you need to actually your iPhone calls emergency SOS, it will also send a message to that person letting him know or her know that you have contact the emergency line. On your iPhone, you probably have Notice like sometimes there are bugs, there are things like battery drain and stuff like that that are really, really annoying. And most of them, of course, get fixed with time and with iOS updates. So not updating your device is really, really bad. And I believe it's a very big mistake. There are always security fixes 
different fixes for bugs and stuff like that. So make sure you always have your device updated. Go to settings, go to general, go to software update, and here you will find automatic updates. If you go here, you have two buttons, one to enable automatic downloads and one to enable automatic install. So all you have to do is just go ahead and enable these two buttons everything will be done automatically so you don't have to worry about it your device will always be up to date and have all the latest fixes not setting up auto lock is also a big mistake that i've seen a lot of people make so you go to settings go to display and brightness and under auto lock make sure you have this enabled and set as low as possible now not having this enabled will just leave your device unlocked if you forget to basically manually lock it so if you leave your device somewhere on or somewhere forget it it will stay unlocked if you don't have this enabled and that of course will be very bad for your device your data your privacy and everything like that so make sure you always have auto locked enabled on your device i've seen a lot of people suggest that you should turn off auto brightness in order to get more battery life on your device and i believe that's totally wrong Auto brightness should be on all the time on your device. Check that by going to settings, go to accessibility, go to display and text size, and from here, make sure you have auto brightness enabled. I keep it enabled, but I have disabled it because I'm shooting the video and I have to have a, like a certain amount of brightness on the screen here, but always make sure that you have auto brightness enabled. This will basically adjust the brightness based on the brightness of your of the ambient you're on and that way of course it won't keep your brightness up all the time and just consume a ton of battery so make sure you always leave that on under the face id and passcode options on your ios 14 device you will get an option to set up an alternate appearance now i believe is a big mistake not setting up an alternate appearance basically by doing this you can have your iphone unlock your device even faster with face id if you have an alternate appearance already set up and of course if you have like two different appearance like maybe beard or no beard or something like that make sure always go ahead and set up an alternate appearance that way you will basically speed up your face id quite a lot now when it comes to iphone of course battery is really really important and i see a lot of people using fake battery chargers make sure that you don't ever do that make sure you always use genuine chargers to charge your iphone you can notice if you're using like a fake charger sometimes the iphone will heat up a lot of course that's the battery heating up so make sure you always use an official charger from apple or one that's authorized of course because Otherwise, if you just get a cheap charger, that will be really, really bad. And that might damage the battery of your iPhone quite a lot. And of course, shorten the lifespan of the battery of your iPhone. And last but not least is a mistake that we probably make quite a lot. I've done it a thousand times and it is also confirmed by Apple. Plugging in the iPhone to charge on a computer that is on sleep or is unplugged according to apple that is really bad and might damage the battery or just drain the battery of your iphone so make sure you have your computer laptop macbook whatever you have always turned on and plugged in when you plug in your iphone to charge on your computer so that's basically it for this video guys these are 10 mistakes that we do daily on our devices of course we use them all the time and we will do these mistakes quite often so make sure you go ahead check out them and make sure you do them as less as possible on your device that's basically it for this video guys don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one